Chelsea's my home, Stamford Bridge is my home, and it has been for 22 years. When I first signed here as a, as a 14 year old boy, I never imagined I would have played this many games, achieved so many things as a player, as a captain. The Chelsea fans, you know, win, lose, or draw, they're behind the team. And for me, that, that's been fundamental in our success. Every time he puts on the shirt of this football club, he's going out there with pride and passion. John Terry is a legend. He's been absolutely key to all the success we've had kind of in the last 10, 12 years. The Matthew Harding stand and the supporters mean, mean everything to me. They're, they're my family, my banner sits here. I've done everything, I've cleaned the seats, I've painted the stadium, I've cleaned toilets, I've cleaned showers, I've cleaned football kit, you know. I've been, been through such an unbelievable process and, and an unbelievable education. The bond between us and him, you know what I mean, it's special. Chelsea is just my life and you know it just seems weird to even even be thinking or even be talking about you know me leaving as it comes to an end for us all it still doesn't make it any easier he's just a legend he always takes time to sign autographs you know how do you say thank you to 42,000 fans and, and millions of people worldwide if he could climb into the stands and support Chelsea with us he would do I was there when John Terry scored an equaliser in the 3-3 draw against Everton in 2016 when I scored against Everton, I just kind of made my run and just kind of got up on the on the buildings there and just kind of jumped in and, and, and got amongst everyone. As much as we support the club off the pitch, he's the biggest Chelsea fan that supports the club on the pitch. It's something that I've kind of dreamed of. You know, you've always wanted to score a goal and just get amongst your fans and, and be, be one of them for that, that five, ten seconds and kind of enjoy the moment. For him saying it was worth it to get booked, he's just showing how much he really does love this football club. The only problem is they don't want to let you go, so you're trying to get back out there for the game and, and they're trying to keep you there. But I used to I used to be ball boy here and you know standing there with my kind of arms aloft, supporters there kind of hugging you. Don't get much better than that. So this has certainly changed over the years as well. This is where I sit. My kind of ritual is I don't touch a football before I go out onto the pitch. Ed and he keeps passing me the ball and I just have to I have to get out of the way of the ball, you know, but it's just it's just a silly thing that I've, I've just done from, from a young age. John Terry always puts his body on the line. He's, he's one of the most famous defenders to do so in the current era. You can win, you can you can have a bad game, you can score an own goal, you can you can make a bad tackle, you can get sent off. But the fans want to see that pure passion. And, and, and what this football club means to them. And I've tried to instill that in our younger players coming through. And I think that's been the biggest thing to, to being a leader and a captain. John Terry, not at Chelsea, is going to be a bit strange, to say the least. But you know what they say, legends never really leave the club. This season, um, I've been on the bench quite a lot. And this is, this is my seat here. So I kind of sit here, but when the new players, when you kind of get on here, they kind of come and sit in your seat and you have to kind of shift them along and say, no, no, this is where I'll sit. Just kind of like to be behind the manager and, and see the game. So, but this year for me, it's been a been a different perspective altogether. Hopefully, one day I'll be in this seat uh, managing. That, that's my next dream, and, and that's something I'm going to work hard to achieve. Normally, there's banners all around the stadium of, of kind of old players, but they've taken down everyone else's to kind of celebrate my time and, and, and my kind of life here. JT is Mr. Chelsea. Certainly, in my generation, there'll never ever be a player like him ever again. I don't know how else to say this, I mean, he's just going to be a major loss. JT, thank you for being what I think is the greatest player in Chelsea's history and be missed. <sighs> really emotional. Um... Of, of that there and something you've done. Number one, you set the time for the next generation of players, but you know, to leave that, as I say, to come back here in, in 10, 20 years and still see my banner here, hopefully, honestly, would mean everything.